I'm Juliana from Hardcore Italians and you're watching Italian Things with G. Today, we're gonna be going over our blog post titled, Top Six Signs Your Dog Lives in an Italian Home. If your dog lives in an Italian family, they have the best life. Not only do these dogs have access to the best food ever in an Italian home, they also have families that treat them like they're part of the family. These dogs just have it made. They have the life. And I'm here to give you six reasons as to why that is the case. Let's go. Number one, their name. So I have two dogs. The first one's name is Bella. It's probably like the most basic Italian name, but like it fits her. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful dog. So Bella, and we also have Mimo. So like Bella and Mimo, like Italian dog names. It's not like, you know, fluffy. It's, it's an Italian name. Some other Italian dog names are like Luna or like Rocky, like Rocky the Boxer. If you have a boxer dog, like Rocky Balboa. I always thought that was pretty cool. It sounds kind of basic, but at the same time, like, come on, that's awesome. Rocky the Boxer dog. Love it. There's also like Dolce or like Vita or like Aldo, you know, all these Italian dog names. So if you come from an Italian family, I'm sure your dog has like an Italian name or one of the ones that I listed. <laughs> Number two, they eat more pasta than they do dog food. At least for me and my family, our dogs are so spoiled with like eating from our table at dinner. Like I'm just always giving my dogs spaghetti. I'm giving them cheese all the time. I know it's not the best thing for them, but like they know what's good. I can't deny them this food. And you know, too much of anything's not good. We don't abuse it, but like, when my nonna lived with us, she used to like always feed them on the low. She like couldn't help but feed them. We'd be like, nonna, you can't feed them too much. Like they're gonna get sick. Too much is not good. And she's like, I know, I know, I know. And then we like walk away. And she she like give it to the dog. <laughs> and I think Italian dogs beg more than any other dog because they know the food at the table is actually good. <laughs> I feel like the more I do these videos, the more savage I'm getting. I'm just like, hey, this is just, you know, Italians just have the best food, okay? Don't even try to fight me on this. Even our dogs know. Dogs are smart. They know. Number three, you've definitely like spiked their dog food with some form of formaggio, like mozzarella. You put like any type of like provolone, some parmesan, like something over top of their dog food. Just like, you know, let me like treat you well. Here's a little bit of cheese. Come on, live a little. My dogs go crazy for cheese. They love cheese. They hear the sound of like our fridge opening, like that one compartment. They run, they come running. They love our cheese. They love Italian cheese. Even on Sunday dinners, like our dogs know what's up. They know Sunday dinners, they're gonna eat well too. They can smell it all day. They're being teased. Like their senses are so much stronger than ours and they gotta sit there all day and smell the sauce that's cooking all day long. So like you can't have them suffer all day and not give them like a little sub Thing, you know what I mean? In our family, my mother makes sauce with pig's feet. She makes one for the men with pig's feet, one without for the women. We just don't eat meat anymore. It's just like a personal choice. But in this pot with the pig's feet, my mother will take out the pig's feet, like the bone, after we eat everything. We keep the bone and give it to our dogs and it's their favorite thing in the entire world. It's all about the bones. The dogs are just so, so grateful. You can tell they're like sitting so patiently because they know the pig's feet bone is coming. Number four, our dogs understand our hand gestures. Your dog can sense if you're angry just based on how you use your hands. Like Italians are known for their crazy hand gestures and never being able to like tell a story with their hands behind their back, that kind of a thing. Like I cannot tell a story or like film this right now without using my hands. Like this is torture for me. Dogs adopted by Italian families know their owner's hand gestures. So like if they're upset, the dog's gonna know. And lastly, number five, they're immune to loud, chaotic households because they're in an Italian household. So like anything could happen at any given moment and they can like sleep through it. What are other signs that your dog lives in an Italian family? Leave us a comment down below and don't forget to tag a paisan. This was Italian Things with G and thanks for watching. Ciao!